Hi guys. So I had to put the shades on today because it's awfully bright and um, can't see very good without them. So I'm just sitting outside. I took a break. Um, been cleaning all morning. Um, getting the house situated. I organized the girls clothes today. I got all the sizes that um, they no longer fit in, particularly Cece because she's growing like a weed. Um, I got those put aside so I can give those to a friend of mine for her daughter um, and get things going. I like spring cleaning. Like, It's one thing that I struggle to do once a year and it's crazy because um, ever since I've been thriving um, it's been something that I've been doing pretty regularly. Like. If I'm cleaning, I'm moving furniture. Like, it's, it's, that's what it is. Like, um, you know, dust, we have a lot of construction, as you guys can see, um, going on back here. So, as they move that dirt up, like, as you see, there's snow on it right now. But as they move, um, the dirt, it gets into my house. And so, I don't like that. So, I have a habit of, Basically, since I've been thriving, I've been feeling good enough to spring clean my house every time I clean it. So I move furniture, vacuum underneath everything. Um, I did not steal Bella's glasses. They would be a little bit tighter on me. Um, but she steals mine all the time. So, um, so I've been cleaning. Um, I vacuumed the entire house. My dad helped me with the downstairs. And I did the upstairs and moved all the girls' furniture and my furniture and vacuum underneath everything and then I spring clean their closets and their dresser drawers and got everything out that doesn't fit them anymore. So I can um, get those off to good, good. Uh, I give them to a friend of mine, um, Cece's, and then Bella's of course go in a container downstairs in the basement um, so Cece can wear them when she uh, gets big enough to go into, grow into them. Hi Jennifer, hi Amanda, how are you guys doing? So I'm just chit-chatting here today. So I am so excited because I talked to four different people today, four of them, actually three of them, I have not talked to since I graduated high school and that was in 2003. So that goes to show you how long it's been since I've spoken to them and they reached out this morning because um, one, him and his wife were really, um, they're at the point where they're ready to make a change. You know, they have children and you know, everyday life. They have kids, they work full time, they come home after a long day at work and they just are exhausted and barely can make dinner and, you know, keep their eyes open enough to even just sit down and talk to each other. So the reason why I'm, um, I'm glad that they reached out because the one thing about Chris and I, we have a, Chris and I, I think have an amazing relationship. We, we get each other. Um, I'm definitely the um, dominant one in the relationship. Um, he's very sweet. He's very calm. Um, I'm the high, high strung one in the relationship. So it's been a really good relationship. Like we we get along really well. And so I'm grateful for that. But we've been together now going on six and a half years and we haven't done as much as we've done this past year. Um, this past year since we've been thriving, like the summers here in Colorado, there's always stuff to do. Like there's always events every weekend, Fridays through Sunday, every weekend. There's something going on downtown Denver or in Boulder um, or just even in our town. There's like fireworks or balloon festivals or anything like that. There's so much to go going on here. And we've never taken advantage of it like we have this year because every time we get off work, it's usually when it's happening and we're just exhausted. We're done for the day. Like we want to go home, eat dinner and go to bed. And that's what our lifestyle was prior to Thrive. And so talking to my friend this morning, it was really, um, it brought back a flashback of how Chris and I were just over a year ago. And it's been truly nice to be able to um, come home, for Chris to come home after, you know, 11, 12 hour day, me being with the kids alone all day, um, and starting my day, you know, really early because I like to get up early now and, you know, it's, it's great to be able to still do things after, um, a long day, you know, go out with your family, whether it's to go walk around the neighborhood or go to the park or go to any festivities or activities that are going around your, um, around your town. 
you know and you know I think Chris and I have created more memories this year than we have in the six years we've been together and I'm truly grateful for that because you know you got to take care of you and your family and your relationship because you know if you are exhausted all the time sleeping on the couch or resting you guys are not building a relationship a strong relationship anyway at that and I feel like Chris and I have um, bonded more you know we're having fun um, we're growing together which is my favorite part of this whole thing like he listens to calls with me we were on a couple calls last night um, we're just growing ourselves like we've watched like very little TV compared to what we used to um, hey Morgan so it's been a really blessing and I love it I love how I feel I love how he feels I love how they, we have the energy still to take care of each other and our kids and still have a great time at that you know um, pre-thive um, dinner and a movies pre-kid no this is with kids dinner and a movie was exhausting <laughs> like you don't realize well you do if you have kids that going to dinner is just tired enough like by the time you get done with dinner you're like okay my belly's full and now it's time to go home and go to sleep because you know what kids may wake up in the middle of the night or it's gonna be a long day tomorrow but now we can do dinner and a movie and not be exhausted or sleep through the movie which is super awesome I love that so um, today's the last day of the Activate. Um, I just did mine about 30 minutes ago. I love the Pina Colada Activate. I don't like coconut and I don't like Pina Colada, but I love our Pina Colada Activate. How weird. Um, I think it's because it's just a smooth taste with just a hint of the um, Pina Colada and um, coconut. So it's really, really, really delicious. Seriously, I just need to put a bathing suit on and get some sun before I go to Punta Cana because the sun is gorgeous right now. It's absolutely beautiful out here, guys. Um, even if you can see me, I don't even know because of the lighting. So, um, Do you guys have any questions for me or do you guys want to chat with me? Come on. I'm here. I'm open ears. I don't have any more cleaning to do. Laundry's done. Vacuuming sun. Floor's clean. Kitchen's clean. Living room's clean. Now I'm just putting projects together. I have a list of things I want to paint um, when I get back from Dominican Republic. And um, the mudroom, my office is going to be a project. And then, um, uh, mudroom, my office, oh, laundry room. So we're doing cabinets in the laundry room, building a huge cabinet in my office along with shelves. Um, and then um, my vision wall and then we're going to um, add cabinets to the mudroom um, like uh, mudroom shelves and cabinets and stuff like that so the girls can sit and um, go from there so I'm really excited about that all right guys so I'm gonna head out of here um, you guys have a great day if you're ready to take advantage of that pina colada activate for free message me and um, I love you guys bye